Well, Coasters, I'm at uh, Tenico Hospital, the base hospital, and a, a lot of you will have, you know, who've Karamea, Punakaiki, uh, Nikau Palm, Nico is the correct pronunciation. And uh, I've, I've uh, convinced Maureen Pugh. Maureen, you were involved in this right at the very start. It goes back a few years too, Bruce. Um, I can remember standing here where the old nurse's home used to be uh, with uh, Dr. Um, Carol Atford uh, talking about where things should be, you know, when we were, we were in the first planning stages of this. And um, I also recall ringing every health professional or visiting every health professional around the area asking them if they would be interested in co-locating here. And it was an interesting exercise because what I found was most of the health professionals, maybe I was talking to optometrists, the dentists, the paediatrician or the podiatrists, massage people, you know, people that have small home based um, healthcare um, businesses. And one of the things that they were really excited about was that by co-locating you have that peer support. And it was something that hadn't occurred to me till, till then, is that they actually work quite isolated places, you know, in their own buildings and they don't co-locate with other health professionals. And uh, so they were pretty excited about that, but um, that was my role as on the PHO, I was pushing for that co-location. Um, we haven't quite ended up with the with the big dream, but I think sometimes you've got to reach for the stars and get to the moon. Well, and we've certainly done that, haven't we? Well, look, uh, I've, I went through the place uh, last week, and I was told that the uh, the spend per capita is greater than anywhere else in the country. Now I don't Absolutely. know whether that's correct or not, but it, it is. that's what yep. they uh, that's what they told me. It and was, I, yeah. and it's stunning inside. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And yeah. all of the uh, all of the areas that you're talking about for the consultants, there's just rows and rows of uh, or rooms, you know, in a row. Yes. And the technology. Yes. So what are we looking at here, Maureen? What's, uh, what are we actually looking at? This is the main entrance and the ambulance bay right here. So ambulance bay to the left. That's it. And um, main entrance here, you know, an emergency area here. It's great, isn't it? You can even see the way it flows really nicely. But in terms of that uh, spend, I think that was one of the hard parts for um, the then Minister of Health, Jonathan Coleman. He was uh, a National Party member, wasn't he? He was the National Party Minister of Health at the time, when this was all approved. Yep. And the hard sell was because we needed so much um, of the expertise and equipment here on the coast, it pushed the cost per capita way above anything else that had been spent in New Zealand ever before. Um, but he did manage to get it across the line, and I'm so pleased that he did. Uh, and even though it has been an expensive build, the people along the west coast absolutely deserve it. Wow. And we delivered. Catch you later.